So I'm in the Philadelphia Museum of Art. I'm looking at this picture here. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking to myself, gee, you know, these people here look a lot like that person over there. So I thought maybe they're in the same family or something. So, uh, So, so I'm looking at this picture, this, and I, I want to know some information about it. So I look down here. That's a wall light, hall chair, just a drawers, Thomas Chippendale, portrait of Ma Ma Master John Campbell by Sir Henry Raven. Candlestick. So, but I, I want to know. I want to know who. I want some information on this. I want to know who. It is. I want to know if this person is actually. Doesn't that person look like the, the girl in the middle? Doesn't, doesn't that person look like the girl in the middle? So I thought maybe they were the same uh, person. So that's what I'm looking at here for some information. Uh, all I see is well, Master Master John. Campbell. No, that doesn't look like a man, a, a woman. That doesn't look like a woman. I mean, it doesn't look like a man, right? Well, read this. Recently orphaned John Campbell, seen here wearing a type of white dress worn by young children of both sexes at the time. Began, children began wearing adult styles around age five. Black boots and bonnet suggest his state of mourning, as was his position beside a stone miner and possibly his parents' grave. Campbell later became an accomplished Scottish sportsman who was renowned as a choreographer and balloonist. So, that is, well, as it says here, John Campbell. So, back in the, you think we have, you think the people dress weird today, you know? <laughs> well, you know, we have all this stuff with this trans, this, I, no, I'm not saying he's trans, but, <laughs> children, boys apparently wore dresses back in, well, eight, mid-1800s in England. 